good afternoon from a very dull Lanzarote today because we have the Kalima yet again uh, where the sand blows over from the coast of Africa and makes the sky look really bad and it's not very good for your breathing either but we're just down in the old town of Porto del Carmen uh, some beautiful restaurants along this walk and we're going to show you exactly what's going on it's quite busy down this area we've just driven down the new town of Porto del Carmen and that's really really busy uh, there was nowhere to park so we thought we'd come down here today and do a quick video of the old town because they've got a big car park you can see people are having a wander around you got the old town harbour just there and some lovely restaurants it's uh, what time is it it's about 12 30 in the afternoon on a Sunday For a January, it's actually quite good. I have reports from businesses that they're very busy. Excursions seem to be still going strong. Plenty of people booking, and uh, you still need to book in advance. Some nice little restaurants here. <laughs> <laughs> nice little walkway this is from the old town harbour if you come down to the harbour there's all these little steps to walk down and you can walk all the way along the coast all the way to Playa Chica and there you've got all your water sports and your jet skis and things like that so it's great down here in this uh, small plaza ahead that's where they do all like the, the shows and things that they have and the little concerts. And I believe, I'm not sure if they're doing the St. Patrick's Parade or Carnival this year. Um, not sure about Carnival. I have heard a rumour that Arecife one's been cancelled. So whether they run it or not, who knows? Bloody madness. The world seems to be opening up, but Spain seems to be continuing. Who knows what's going on? Busy down here. I'm very good, you. <laughs> And this is usually one of the busier places down in this area here. Obviously you've got the Asian Baradero, which is uh, open on the night. And you've got San Miguel Bar. And Heineken Bar. La Ancla, still closed, which is uh, surprising. You'd think they would have been open by now. Down in this area here, is where you see the old guys on the evening doing the bowls and of course you've got the red restaurant over there which is very expensive but it's very nice and Emma's Cantina next door which has moved down to that area too and as you enter the old town harbour here that's a great little uh, tapas bar where all the locals come of course, down in the harbour area itself, you've got a number of things that you can do here. Obviously, mostly boat related. Um, the only catamaran cruise that departs from here is the Isle of Papagayo. And again, if you link below, you can book any of the excursions. Isle of Papagayo is actually closed at the moment until February, I believe. And they're bringing something new. They're doing something with the catamaran. I'm not sure what, but apparently it's going to be amazing. Um, but you've still got um, Catlanza, which is in Porto Calero, the next harbour or marina along. And Catlanza is a great day out if you fancy a catamaran. Um, and although it looks cloudy, it is the Kalima. Um, it's still hot. I have got a, a jacket on though, but you can see uh, from walking down, people are in their shorts and t-shirts and stuff. And I'm a bit hot to be honest. I could do with just having a t-shirt on. So that's, uh, the temperature's quite nice. And here we go. This is where you get the taxi boat as well. 
So here's where the small taxi boat that takes you to Port Calero pulls up. And there's a little view of the old town. And you can walk all the way along there, all the way up them stairs, and all the way to Port Calero. The yellow boat you see there is um, the Sunset Cruise boat and the boat to Lobos as well. So that goes uh, there. And again, all of this is available on our website, excursionslanzarote.com. As I said, link below. Um, just like to give everyone a big, massive thanks for watching all our videos. And you've managed to get us to a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is good, because that means I might make some pennies, who knows? But thanks for watching guys. And uh, if you do need anything, drop a comment below, ask any questions. We'll be glad to help. We'll see you soon.